let's take a look at some features distinguishing our version 1.5 microcontroller board. Note that this hardware is no longer supported by M&M, mostly due to scarcity of parts. Before even opening the panel enclosure, you will be greeted by the usual keyboard and display interface. Version 1 hardware is unique in that it will have a narrow rectangular display and a rectangular stop button on the left. Newer panels also have some extra buttons when compared to this initial layout. Compared to previous boards, the first main difference is the processor. Unlike the older style of long rectangular processor unit, this board utilizes a square Z180 chip with an erased socket. From there, we look at the power connector. It's located at the bottom corner of the board and labeled with power. No later boards use this power location as it was moved with our version 2 product. The power cable is a 9-pin pigtail. Taking a look at the COM0 and COM1 sockets, they are located adjacent on the other corner of the board. Compared to older board styles, this generation features modern COM chips which are socketed and easily replaceable, unlike the older soldered units. Now, taking a look at the EEPROM sockets, MEM0, 1, 2, and 3 are all 32-pin. You can see here that we're using a few 28-pin EEPROMs, showing the difference between the two socket styles. This socket size carried over to all of our later boards. The dip switches are still in a single bank of eight towards the middle of the board. The display connector passes through the micro board, through an expansion board, before getting to the keypad and screen unit as shown here. Finally, if you're doing higher level diagnostics, the test points are located both between the I.O. headers and down by the power socket we covered earlier. This has been a brief overview of how to determine if you're running our version 1.5 hardware. Occasionally mistaken for our version 2 hardware, we remind you that our V1.5 boards are no longer supported. For guides to each of our other hardware versions, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for personalized support or part sales, you can call us at one of our branches with the contact info in the description below.